Hi everyone. So today's look is Coco Chanel. I was requested on Facebook to do her makeup look and what it is, it's just a very simple uh, nude eye with a flushed uh, cheek and a bolder kind of like vino lip. So basically that's what I've uh, recreated and um, basically capturing her elegance, her philosophy of dressing classics so somebody notices the woman because if you dress shabbily, people will notice the dress and not the woman. That was kind of her whole thing. I don't really buy Coco Chanel stuff just because it is so expensive. I don't wear wool or silk, and which is what our garments are made out of. Um, and as far as her makeup line goes, it's it's really not cruelty free. Um, so I just I just personally choose not to buy from it. However, I do like the designer, and I think she came a long ways, especially in her time. Um, where jobs were not as uh, handed or given to women in her era. So anyway, she's a really fascinating uh, character. I'll link her bio in the bottom bar uh, from Wikipedia, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, so there's, there's a ton of biographies on her. A ton. So there's a lot of different, um, different things on her that they don't really capture in movies. Uh, so I'll let you read that for yourself and um, enjoy. So I hope that you enjoy this look and thank you so much for watching. Okay, so to get started on Coco Chanel, you're going to want to establish the brow shape you want to have. Either go with something that's more natural to your face, unless you want to mimic Coco Chanel. In that case, she had very round, very thin eyebrows. It was heavier going in and then very, very uh, arched. Uh, and then going out, but they were much thinner and much more round. So for the lips, she has a deeper lip, so I'm gonna start off with my Zambezi Organic uh, Lip Conditioner, and this is in Tangerine. And it's very conditioning, it came in an Eco Emmy box. So I'm just going to apply it and let it soak all throughout the application process of my makeup look. Next up, you're definitely going to want to prep and prime your eyelids as a must, even though the eyeshadows are nude, just so the look stays even more natural looking. So I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Studio Eye Primer, and it looks like a concealer stick. It most likely is. And we're just going to dot that all over the eye. And then we're also going to place a little underneath just to clean up underneath the eye as well. I'm just going to gently pat that all the way in. You definitely don't want to use your pointer finger because it's way too strong a finger for your delicate eye area. I'm using this particular uh, primer because it's a little bit more wet and my skin is very dry. So this is the eye look we're definitely going to want to recreate. It's very, very, very classic and very simple. Maybe one of the simplest looks I've done on my channel. To get this look, we're going to be doing the Too Faced Matte Eye. Uh, palette. You actually don't need this palette to recreate the look unless um, you like to pick it up because I'll definitely be using it again. Um, but here it is. I need to do a blog post of this. This is gorgeous. If you follow me on Twitter, you know I picked this up, um, I believe, January 22nd. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is picking up a little bit of fresh linen, which is this nice kind of light pink. So I'm going to get that all over my Delium Tools brush number 777. And what I'm going to do from there is pat this all over the lid. And then um, from there I'm going to pat it actually under the arch of the brow bone. Where all that concealer is, just to pat it down. And of course in the crease, just kind of swoop it out in the crease. You don't have to be completely exact when applying this all over lid shade. If you're somebody who doesn't like that pink shade in Naked Palette too, you'll probably like Fresh Linen because it's just a little bit more fresher and natural, more natural than Booty Call, which is in Naked Palette too. So I'm just going to press that all over. Now from there, I'm going to be taking Velveteen Bunny, which is a matte white. You could take the same brush. That This pinky color down here is not very pigmented, so it won't stain your Velveteen Bunny. It shouldn't anyway, unless I have a bad palette. I don't think I do, though. So I'm just going to 
Press this all over the arch of the brow and then blend it back. I'm going to press a little right here too. Now when going forward with this look, you want to remember one of uh, Coco Chanel's most infamous quotes. Always take off the last thing you put on. So one thing you don't want to do is do too much of an inner tear to highlight. Less is more with Coco Chanel. So we're just going to place a little bit and center it directly on the rims of the tear duct to sort of mimic the lightness she does have, but you don't want uh, frosty highlighting and stuff, so that's why I didn't take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. From there, you can uh, go into a soft brown color, and I'm taking a little bit of Tuft Suede, which is just this really light uh, brown color. Some of the tones in here remind me of Warm and Cozy, like these three across here. Remind me of Warm and Cozy that came out with MAC a long time ago. So I'm going to be dipping into Tuft Sway with the Delamine Tools brush in 785, a large, wide, fluffy brush, just to get a very soft, diluted color. So I'm just going to be swooping that out right here, just a light amount of it. And then for the outer corner, she's got a little bit of depth. So we're just going to make a little circular motion and pull that up. From there we're just going to finish it off by adding a little depth in the crease. So we are actually going to go ahead and blend Tough Suede and Chinchilla together. So Tough Suede I popped on first and then just a dab of Chinchilla. So we're just going to blend that out. If you end up finding that you took too much Chinchilla, you can always go over Chinchilla with Fresh Linen, which is your base color. So that's it for the eyeshadows. And from there, I'm going to take Urban Decay 24-7 Liquid Liner in Perversion. If you're using this one, shake it up really good. And we're going to go very lightly, very finely over the top of the upper lash line. Coco Chanel probably wore pencil liner Probably a bit of a stretch for her, but as long as you keep it too delicate, we shouldn't be going too outside the box for her. I'm just kind of going more with, I guess, modern modern products, kind of staying with my look, but doing Coco Chanel. I'm going to take the Too Faced Size Queen Mascara. We're going to put this all over the lashes, top to bottom. For the waterline, I'm just taking a nude liner, and this is Max Chromographic. This is their lightest, no, this is their medium shade, sorry but any medium nude liner will do. This is just what I happen to have. Now, for the waterline, in order to get that set really, really perfect, I'm going to take fresh linen and go over it. Really brighten it up. If you got any mascara on your top lid, just pop it over as well. For the lower lash line, we're just going to add a hint of depth, although that mascara really does add much, quite a bit. So, But we're going to be taking Tough sway, Suede, sorry, either way, and we're going to be popping this underneath the lower lash line. So we're going to be pretty much going through the center area only and kind of avoiding the outer corners, the outer and inner corners with this brown. Kind of a unique uh, shadowy effect. It's kind of a play on shadows for her eye shadow kind of clever. In Coco Chanel's time, they didn't do a lot on the eyes, but they did much more on the lower face. Wearing a lot of brighter blush or bolder lipsticks was a sign of youth, health, glow, gleam. So the majority of the color was obviously on the lower half of the face. So to get her sort of really bright, corally flush that she did wear, we're going to be taking Tarte's Amazonian Clay Blush. Her cheeks were very bright for her skin tone. Her skin was very pale and like perfect in alabaster. So we're just going to be popping this on the cheeks. I'm going to start blending out in the center, going along with my face shape. I'm just going to pop that on the cheekbone. 
get the color payoff on and then just sort of blend it out. It is a bright coral for her because she is so pale, but I would just go with a bright blush. You don't need to take a ton of product. Her lips are very slender, so to get her pout, um, you don't need to do a lot of overlining, over pluck, uh, over plucking, overlining, highlighting. So just gonna kind of pat off some of the lip conditioner I have on, and I'm going to take Urban Decay's 24/7 liner in Envious. It's just this really rich purpley color, and I'm gonna start lining my lips. When working with any bold lipstick, you want to fill in your lips with the liner as well. So that way when your lipstick fades, all the color goes at once. Now don't worry about looking too quirky with the lips right now or at all <laughs> because uh, Coco Chanel was a little quirky. She was definitely a less is more type. However, she still had a quirk and an edge and a playfulness to her look. So we are going to go in with Strumpet. You can also use Vintage uh, OCC Lip Tar. I just feel it's going to be a little bit severe. Her lips are very red and almost burgundy. However, it's a very um, wearable burgundy. So I'm going to be going in with Strumpet. Dabbing this on my angled brush. kind of going outside the lines. I'll fix that up. And then just worry about coloring in the lip. Get it completely saturated on, taking a little bit of product as you go is the key with the OCC lip tars. And then you just take concealer and go around the edges to perfect any lines you may have messed up on. Now if you want to mimic Coco's look, feel free to take some of your favorite costume accessory pieces. It was kind of her whole thing. Take my earrings. These are from Brighton. They're costume. Put those on. And then when it comes to your style of dress, keep it simple and basic and let your accessories kind of speak for themselves and bring your look into a trend or into life. And remember, always take off the last thing that you put on. So if you're wearing really uh, quirky shoes or really large belt, it's probably best to simplify at that stage if you want to go for the Coco Chanel um, look. Or if you don't, just have fun, be yourself. And thank you so much for watching.